Hello and welcome to Tektronics. Today we're going to talk about how to set up a USB bus decode. The USB bus decode is a fairly simple and easy setup. As you can see, we are using a squid board, and here on our left we have a USB 2.0 plug-in for our host, which will be a computer. Here on our right we have a USB 2.0 port for our device, which will be a flash drive. And once our devices are connected, we will be able to decode live data. Now here we have our signal leads, and you can see the middle two pins are labeled D-positive and D-negative, and this means we get to use our differential probe. A TDP-500 will be suitable for the job. So we can see that the probe itself has a variety of features, but for now we are only concerned with voltage range. We have 4.25 volt and 42 volt peak amplitude options, and because our signal falls within the lower range, we will later adjust our probe as such. And remember, this is not 100% necessary, but as always, proper practice assures our data is as accurate as possible. Looking closely, we can see our probe heads are labeled positive and negative, and as always, it is essential to match polarity. And now we can probe our signal leads, connect our devices, and proceed with our setup. From a default setup, we will switch our probe range to 4.25 volts. And let's go ahead and increase our record length to 1 million for some additional resolution, and raise the position of our trigger level. Now off screen I am just going to transfer a file from my computer to my flash drive. And there we go! We can now see live streaming data going from our host to our device. And we can adjust the vertical and horizontal scaling as necessary. Select single acquisition until we get a nice example of a data packet. Select bus B1, and we'll just move this below our waveform. Select our bus type, which will be USB. Now we can define our inputs. Speed, we are using USB 2.0, which is high speed. Signal type, which will remain differential since we are using a differential probe, it is also our only option for high speed. And differential is our source, which will remain channel 1. If we were decoding at full speed or low speed, we would have the option of using two single-ended probes. And in that case, our differentials D positive and D negative would be our source channels. Select thresholds, and because USB is a tri-level signal, we have both a high and low threshold. We want our high threshold to be above the middle of the signal, and the low threshold to be below the middle of the signal. And now we can use the wave inspector pan and zoom features of our scope to get a better representation of our data. And there we go, now we can easily observe specific individual data values. We can edit our labels, or we can edit our bus display to display bus or bus and waveforms, or we could edit our number format. We also have our event table. If we turn that on, we can look at specific data. And if we have a flash drive, we could save our event table to a file for use in Excel or MATLAB. Now if we go into our trigger menu, we can also trigger on various bus conditions. And you can see they're all a little different, some allowing us to trigger on specific data, addresses, etc. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more information about our products, please visit www.tektronics.com support.